Hi and welcome to this week's Ask Charlie. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and to ring the bell to be notified of my weekly videos. So by popular demand, this week I'm talking to you about floors and how to keep them clean. So the first thing I do is have a really, really good hoover everywhere, a thorough hoover, because if you're going to mop or wash a floor, you want to make sure that there are no, um, you know, dog hairs or bits of, I don't know, dust or whatever, because you just don't want that swishing around as well. So hoover first and then get your mop. So I have got uh, by Lida, and this one is, is absolutely brilliant. I have shown it to you before. It has got this bit. So you can really, really wring your mop out because you don't want too much water on the floor. So I'm gonna show you, um, yeah, what I do. So I'm actually going to use a couple of drops of fairy liquid. And I talked in my um, bathroom shower cleaning video that I have lots of uses for fairy. And actually this is one of it. Now I just a couple of drops and it just breaks off the grime, I find, but you don't want very much. I have used and tried all sorts of different um, floor cleaners and actually a little bit of fairy doesn't damage your floor. Too much, yes, it might do. Um, and I'm just going to swash that round in my mop, put the camera down and get going. Let me just angle that. So, in action so you want to make sure that you don't have too much water on your mop wooden floors don't like lots of water oh, I'm get a good start of that. I'm get it there. Um, and go all the way over your floor like this so that is one way and this is what I do if I'm doing a quick mop now, the other thing that I want to show you is, uh, what am I gonna do first? Actually, I'm gonna show you this. So, Method again, I do love their products. Wooden floor cleaner. Now, you don't need any water. You actually just squirt like that. It smells amazing, it's almondy. And just mop. And now, this is really good for conditioning your wooden floor and you have to do it you know, in slow pieces, but that is brilliant for looking after your floor. So if your floor is really dirty, I would go with a couple of drops of washing up liquid in your mop bucket in quite warm water. If it's not dirty or you just want to condition it, then use this. So I'm down on my hands and knees and I want to show you this too because if our floor is really dirty or probably once every three months this is what I do so again a couple of um, drops of fairy in there this is one for the rubber gloves and I use just a floor cloth in there again quite warm water and if you've got a large area, it is quite time consuming, it's quite labor intensive, but actually it does give your floor a really, really good clean. You can use machines um, for this sort of thing, but actually, like I've noticed there is something nasty down there. Sorry, you can't see it, but I can. And when you're hoovering the floor, it's a really good opportunity to see the marks and the areas that need more attention than others. So. Um, this is, yeah, another way of cleaning your wooden floor. It is, um, yeah, quite hard work on your knees. I'm now up in the children's bathroom and it has got a ceramic tile floor. So I thought I would show you how I clean this too. Now I make sure I have a really good hoover and I should have said downstairs, you know, dogs beds outside, rugs, get everything outside, chairs outside if you can or pop them up on the table upside down. Um, it's so much easier and quicker to mop if everything um, is away and out, well, out of the way. So I have got my washing up bowl here and I've got my dishcloth. Um, I, I, I use these just for floors and my gloves and I've got some Zaflora. Zaflora is amazing stuff because it's a disinfectant too. So I think it's really good to use um, on the bathrooms, particularly the children's bathroom because, you know, sometimes there are little accidents. Um, you actually don't need very much at all, so it's probably easier rather than straight in there. But just a 
few, um, a tiny quarter of a capful in there and then swash it around, rinse out. Um, really important to wring your cloth out as well because you just don't want to have too much water on the floor. Um, like I said, downstairs, you know, really wring it out. And then literally, um, and actually this is quite a good position to be in. It's good for the body apparently, uh, particularly when you're um, pregnant and expecting children. It's, um, yeah, good for, for your pelvic floor. And literally just wipe all over the floor. Make sure you get in close around the loo around the edges. I'm not going to do the whole floor on camera because you get the gist, but um, it just works really well. The flora comes in lots of different fragrances as well. So, you know, you might not particularly like one fragrance, but do try the others. That's London Fresh and I really like it. So, I shall come back over to you. I hope that that is helpful. I hope you've enjoyed my floor cleaning tips. And as ever, have a really, really fabulous weekend and I'll be back next week with something else.